gonna look into it just because she wants me to. Um, and then I was thinking we could talk about photographer. And what we can talk about about that is just uh, like... I'm, I'm down with talking about the concept of photographers in the modern age. Okay. I have, I have, a, I have a take on that. Cool. Well, I, those are the four things I have on there. Um, and then long distance relationship I'm down for. Are we live? Yeah, we're live now. Oh! Your mic was down. It is? Yeah. Alright, right, go ahead. Check, check, check. I love everyone. Keep going. People are the best. But we're better than the rest. Boop, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, boop. Life, life, life. Eh, 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 eh. We are life. We are life. Do I need more? Do I need to get more light for us? Uh, we're a little dark. Join in the IRC. Look at me, IRC. And you're wrong, Justin. What? You're wrong. I'm wrong about what? Yeah, I don't know. I thought you're still checking the mic. Oh. Or was it all a lie all this time? Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm about to go live with uh, Jerry Moore. Can I give you a call after that? All right, bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, auto power off. What the hell's that? What? Oh, was this not plugged in? Might not be. Hi, Beef. How are you? Yeah, auto power off. But you can't see us. We'll be back. All right, we're back now. Oh, we're back now. Hi. Miss you guys. So your mic's really hot. Really? Should I fix no. it back here? Yeah, just, just, be, just be aware. Okay. Does Well, I mean, if I'm talking like this, is this too loud? No. Should I move it? Okay. That's perfect. Good. Because I'm perfect. Oh. Ah. I know it's like a legit set now. Oh no, I can sit there and record from there. I'll just plug in my iPad. Oh, you can? Yeah. Check, check, check. I mean, however. Check, check, check. One, two, three. One, two, three. I mean, if I'm talking like this, then we're going to talk like this, and then we talk like this, and then that'll be it. That'll be what we talk about. Yada, yada, yada. And you're wrong. Um, we're just using the one camera there, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So guys, what's up? What's going on? Did we start with Jury more soon? Man. Ahoys! 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 Is a room mic on? There's a lot of room sound apparently. Oh shit! What? Is it coming off of the camera? Better be a more stable feed. <laughs> After Justin's fucking up all night last night. I only, I only totally fucked the computer once or twice. Only once or twice. Sounds much better. Tell people to quit calling you. You're so popular. You fancy. Um, why we're getting... Literally butter. 
Smooth like butter, literally butter. <laughs> you guys are the best. Where are we getting the room noise? Talk. talk, talk, talk. Talking, talking, this is me talking. Um, smooth like butter, literally butter, check, except check, check. vegan butter. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Check, check, check. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is a mic, yada, yada, yada. Talk, talk, talk for a moment. How are we doing? Sue. So, talk. talk, talk, talk. Talking, talking, this is me talking. Um, smooth like butter, literally butter, check, except check, check. vegan butter. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Check, check, check. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is a mic. Yada, yada, yada. Talk, talk, talk for a moment. Hmm. What's going on? Um. All right, well, we can put the music back on. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Someday, I want to I want to go live on the stream. And yeah. can have it facing the set and just sit Dr. Bird on this mic and walk away. So it'll be the bird stream. Bird cast. The bird. Bird cast. All right. I don't have a headphone on. Who's got a headphone on? So you're going to record from the iPad? No, I'm just going to play our music. Oh, I gets it now. I gets it. I'd watch. I'd watch Birdcast this time back. Of course you would. Uh, cause Doctor Bird is he's the best. He really is. He's the best. He'd have a very intent it it, it, it a very um, entertaining Birdcast where he would poop a lot. Just all over this table. Probably chew up the microphone too. So it'd be unusable. Oh, it's a it's a necklace, yes. It's actually a little watch um, that has a bird on it. Surprise, I love birds. Not crazy. Not crazy. Mm-mm. Right. Dr. Poop a lot. Basically, that's the word world we live in. We live in a very shitty world. Literally. Though strangely, not a lot of shit on us. Just kind of next to us. Bird life. You you wouldn't understand. Welcome to uh, the poop stream. <laughs> I'm trying to log into my SoundCloud here so I can play what I need to play, which I'm sure I can just do. Yeah, Mechanos Bird Life. Good on you, sir or Dude, madam. Mech was one of the, the knights of, of eternity who yeah? was uh, up with me last night. Well, thank you. Uh, Mike yeah. isn't on jury. 
Mike is not. All right, hold on. I haven't seen Man of Tai Chi. We have to put jury on the mics that don't work as well because he is really loud. Our cockatiel knew how to hold her poo until we held her out over a paper towel. I hear that can be like really risky doing that too though because then they get like, they try and hold it and it's bad for them if they'll only do it then over the paper towel. I assume your cockatiel's all right. Ours just poops everywhere. Check, 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 one, two, three. Check, 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 one, two, three, check. All right. Is your mic working now? Yeah, I have turned it down. I'm done. Why would you do that? That's very silly. It's very goose-like. How dark are we? We can put the diffuser on that and point it down. I mean, for home studio, we're fucking the Tonight Show. Uh, yeah, right. beef. That's what Justin calls me um, when we have sex. Hot Brian. <laughs> Wait. So what's 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 brush with that? What kind of Brian is he? <laughs> Apparently, uh, oh, super cute. Sorry, I'm super cute, Brian. Um, I don't know. It doesn't mean he's super ugly. That'd be really mean. Why are you guys calling Brian ugly? <laughs> oh my. I missed you guys. I like doing this. It'll be sad when this podcast is over forever. Yep. That'll be it. We're done with it. Maybe not ugly, just think. You kids. All right. Um. I think it's which one is it that we always do? I think it's rock and roll made me do this. Is it? Okay. Uh, do you want to go hit the? Uh, it's going. Record? It's oh, you're recording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can just cut it all up. Um, all right, and I've and got my you list got the on IRC, the phone. Yep. and you have the rundown. I've got the rundown on my phone. Cool. You've got it on your phone too, right? I do. Good. Teamwork. High five. Let me get my... Let me get my coffee. Oh my god. This podcast is taking forever. Ahem. Uh oh. You missed the call from Brian. Is that because we were talking about him? No. uh, He accidentally called me. Phew. All right. Uh, All right. So we're streaming. We're We're streaming. We're recording. Uh, can everybody hear? So you you got the IRC. So if anything yep. blows up, let me let me get a levels check. Does everything sound good to everybody? And by the way, how's everybody digging on this this sitting set we got now? We're not just like huddling up uh, to a webcam like it's a fucking Saturday Night Live sketch. Those man. were the days. I know. Those were the days. Before our home studio. Yeah. We're grown-ups now, guys. Holy shit. Totes cray. Uh, yeah, uh, so we're waiting on you guys to give us a, a go, no go for launch when it comes to sound. Uh, this is the first time that I'm not like watching audio volume pass by, which I'm probably, in the future, I'll just put on that uh, that monitor and just swing that out so I can at least see that everything's going all right. Uh, are we good? What's the IRC say? Mm-hmm. Waiting to see from you guys. What do you got working um, on, Ash? 
No, I'm, no one's saying anything about the sound. Oh, sounds good. There we go. Yay. Audio, video, golden. All right. All right. And again, and man, Sergeant I cannot... Muffin was asking what the video audio problem was. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There's that. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's go ahead and get this party started. Woohoo! Oh, sorry, I ruined it. Start all over. Redo. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. All right, are you ready? You ready? And... You ready? <gasps> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Dreammore podcast. Uh, I'm Ashley Paramore. I'm Justin Robert Young. And we're getting married. We are. Uh, we're getting so married, your head's going to explode, man. Uh, and I mean you, the listener. You you are going to have a moment in which your brain swells to beyond the proportions of a human's, and it will then explode all over the room. That's actually really gross. We're going to murder you. Is what I'm <laughs> so basically, don't come to our, we- our uh, wedding, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, uh... Yeah, not good. Gonna be quite the mess. Quite the mess. So, we actually have uh, updates today. Yeah. Which is something we didn't have last week because Uh we didn't do any work. (laughs) Well, I mean, mean, everybody else, everybody who's listening to this can kind of uh, attest. This is a weird time, you know? Everybody, I feel like everybody that I talked to today had just got done with winter vacation. Right? It was like in school. Like, you got like two weeks off where everyone's screwing around, and now everybody's kind of getting back into the flow, back into the, the, the hum of things. So, uh, we were no exception. We did a lot of farting off. We didn't really plan a lot for, for the wedding. But over the last couple, uh, last couple of days, things have really come together. I know. It, it's amazing. So, one of the realizations that we came, I guess, I think we kind of knew this already, but. I also think we were both hoping to uh, get around this, is the whole paper invitation idea. Yeah. Because we were kind of like, oh, we don't need no damn paper invitation because we're internet people and we do internet things and we don't need to send anything in the mail. Well, I think it's, it's one of the outgrows of not doing a regular wedding. Right, because the one benefit of doing a regular wedding is that there is a blueprint. There's yeah. There's a playbook. You know, you get engaged, you get sent the playbook, you find it in your locker... You know, if somebody breaks up with you before the wedding, you have somebody come up and take the playbook away. But we are not doing something that has been done a million times. And part of that is that we're doing a public wedding. Yeah. And so for us, we, I guess, focused way more on the fact that we had an obligation to let people know that a wedding was happening. And not so much, hey, there are people that we know that aren't on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube uh, and they would like to know when and where this wedding is because they actually have known us since we were children. Or some of those people not only don't have that that stuff, but yeah. I think that they'd also they also have there's there's the societal expectation that whether or not they will be attending that they will receive something in the mail, yeah, some type of formal invite. And we finally we figured that figured out. that out. <laughs> Uh, I mean, and this is something where it's like, I, I've been uh, fortunate enough to know a lot of like designer friends, like people who do uh, graphic design for a living. That is a, a major pain point for them, is like finding and designing and perfecting their wedding invitation. Because for whatever reason, they look at that as like the thing that they will view. Yeah. Um, though... They're just gonna have to criticize the hell out of us if they're coming. Well, no, but... no, I don't think I don't think it's for us. I think it's for them because they view it as a reflection. Yeah. Well, I found some really awesome wedding invitations on Etsy. Yeah. That you agreed with, which I'm very happy about. It was a like, oh, you were like, oh yeah, you've got you can design stuff. You You're can good design, at designing you can stuff. Design stuff. Yeah, you'll have. We'll, we'll do like a board game night. And next thing you know, there's like a really nice designed invitation up there on Facebook. I figured like that was your jam. 
Well, thank you. Thank you. I, I'm just happy that I found something that we can pay people. <laughs> people yeah. so i didn't have to stress myself out over it but I feel like we should should we have a blog i mean we do it we have jurymore.com right we should probably actually put like um we'll, we'll, we'll put the invitations up on on jurymore.com or what they look like i don't yeah. know that we want to put up the final invitations but what's on there that isn't because these knowledge? are the family invitations yeah but like all the information is out there well like the the family brunch wanna... thing oh okay we don't that's gonna go on there oh okay you can see what they look there's like. Gonna be we'll a just pixelate. Yeah, there's we a secret. That, right? We talked about the yeah. secret family brunch, but so you're um, not invited to the secret yep, family brunch. You're invited to you. literally everything else that we're doing, just not the secret family brunch. Yep. Uh, all right, so we have invitations done, uh, which we're coding them too. To who's going to my half of the family and your half? We can yes. talk about this a little bit. Yeah, we we bought two invitations. Um. One, yeah, and they're right in theme, which is funny. All right, so so you're doing Game of Thrones and I'm doing Battlestar Galactica, and, yes, and they are themed. They look exactly the same, except the figures inside of them. One of them is uh, Gaius and Six, and the other one is Khaleesi and Cal Drogo, and it's very cute. It's very and will be totally lost on the people who are actually getting these invitations. Well, yep, they we don't will care. Not have a <laughs> flying. Fuck of an idea what the hell is going on on that invitation. Though that they will probably get the uh, logins for the Netflix and, or I, I guess HBO Go. Can we talk Go. about my plan for that? Let's talk about it. In another Af- episode? After, after maybe maybe in another episode. We'll see. This we'll see how. Good, this would be a good straw poll, though. Maybe this is a good straw poll for, for next week. Everybody can vote. Vote and then we'll discuss it and next week. And we'll discuss week. it next week. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. I want to do a video invitation. We are going to do a video invitation we for are. the wedding. That's like going to be a thing. But uh, what we wanted to have as part of the video invitation was to let everybody know that this was a wedding that came with required reading, like a college course. Like you just had to know a, a, a few things if you're going to get the most out of this wedding. So if you're going to do that, you got to let people know where they can watch this information, right? Right. And if that's the case and we want them to watch Battlestar Galactica and Game of Thrones, I want to uh, I want to give away my HBO Go login. And, and I want to publicly give away my HBO Go login just to see if HBO will shut it off when 90 people start watching it. I want it to be uh, public, and uh, I, I just want to see what happens. Uh, and also, you originally <laughs> wanted to give away your mom's HBO I, Go login. I mean, the funniest joke is for me to give away my mom's uh, HBO Go login without her. Knowledge. By the way, your mother's been listening to this, so she's, she's gonna know this she has, next. <laughs> she's actually got this. She's she's written in uh, to to the to the show here today, but. Uh, but yeah, no, I want to give away, I wanted to give away my mom's HBO Go login because it's really funny if we say at the end, uh, you know, hey, you should watch Game of Thrones. If you haven't seen uh, Game of Thrones, don't worry, you can buy it at these retailers. Uh, or, you know, here's my mom's HBO Go. Because like that's such, I feel like it, it's like a cultural milieu, right? Like yeah, it, it, is, totally. it is something that is said a lot. So uh, I, I, I was... I was told I couldn't do that. Uh, I, I was hit with a, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know I couldn't do that by my lovely fiance that I couldn't give away Gloria's uh, HBO Go login publicly. So I'm like, all right, I'll give out my own. And you're like, so we're, 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 we're at the point where... Where Justin is going to buy a freaking HBO <laughs> Go account, apparently. So we can give away one. I want to get another. One. It would be worth it to pay like however much it costs to because have an so- HBO Go login. Yeah, we can't do ours because if somebody could log in, they could see where we live and like other stuff. So. Yeah. Well, and also somebody's going to be a dick and change it. Yes. But it would be really funny to find out just how long that takes. Like once the joke is dead, the joke is dead. I just want the joke to exist. Yeah. I think, all right, so here, somebody do me a favor in the chat room right now. Go ahead and set up 
a straw poll for us, strawpoll.me, and, and throw it in there. We will give you, uh, or we, we will give it out here before the end of the show. So if you're listening to this via podcast, you can go ahead and type in and uh, and vote, uh, and we will come back to it next week. Uh, Neshcom puts uh, username Gloria Young password Jury Mom. <laughs> I don't know if that if that is if that is indeed her password, but you know you can always try. Listen, yeah. log in HBO Go, try it. Why see not? If, uh, Dare to dream. See if it's Gloria's. Man, she is going to be. I'm gonna see her. In, I'm gonna see her in a couple weeks. And she's gonna do. She, my mom does this move where she just like kind of pretends like she's beating me, but it's like a stiff like hand I've seen her do it yes yeah, she, she just kind of slaps my shoulder it's like I could beat you <laughs> it's my mom's move oh my goodness well thanks Gloria for your HBO go walk in uh yeah alright so that that brings us to the end of wedding planning update right no we um, had a great oh, plan oh we had a that last I... minute a last minute uh, addition we, we talked about your bridesmaid situation. Mm-hmm. We were looking. I suggested uh, that you guys sash it up. No. Hashtag, hashtag sash it up. You, no. Not only swept no. the world. No. Uh, it, it, it is the wedding uh, uh, accessory no. du jour. Nine. Sash it up. Nada. You're really not sashing it up No, right we're now, not sashing girlfriend. it up in this I'm just bitch. Saying. Because you know what? Uh-huh. My one and only loving Viking lass, who I believe is streaming while we're streaming. That bitch, let me tell you. Um, just kidding. I love you, April. Um, she and Mr. Chinbill, Beard, Chinbill, Chinbeard, Bill yeah. Duran, came up with the solution to our problem. Well, you might have gotten the most epic text message ever in the history of, of, text, messages. of text messages today. Okay, just paraphrase the, the money the, the money sentence. The money sentence? What? That Bill has a guy. In life, we all have guys, yep. right? You have guys that can get you tickets to the game. Mm-hmm. Guys that, uh, you know, have the HBO Go login. Guys that have dragon eggs. And there we go. You got hit with, oh, hold on. I got a dragon egg guy. Yeah. Uh, so just do me a favor and and let me know how many dragon eggs you need because this dude will mold dragon eggs and and uh, Bill offered to paint them, which is insane. So he's like, oh, how many do you need? So he and I think April both might be working on it, but I'm like, well, you know, just let us know. So no bouquets. No bouquets for for the bridesmaids. They are going to be carrying dragon eggs uh, into the 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 procession. Hey, by the way, uh, you can go ahead and vote on this. That's strawpoll.me slash 3345655. That is strawpoll.me slash 3345655. I think I already the, know uh, what the answer is going to be for this that's poll. The poll. No, listen, we're just going to go. We're just going. Uh, we're, we're putting it out to the people. The people are sober minded and yeah. certainly aren't always going to vote for anarchy. <laughs> You know, they are, they are they are very, very, very sober-minded oh, when it comes to this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. But anyway, I'm, I'm super stoked because uh, they're going to be, th- yeah. those are going to be the bouquets. So or dragon, dragon eggs. eggs, dragon eggs for bouquets. Yep, so they'll just hold the dragon eggs when they walk up. See, and this is what I wanted, right? Like, it's just like, there ain't no, you know, you can fucking go to Amazon and type in, you know, plastic dragon eggs and get some shit that was made in... Xinzhou, China. Okay, that's that's. How do you know that's not a real Chinese city? It's probably not. Say what I said. I'm. Xinzhou. How do you know it's not real? Mm. 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 Or I'm just mispronouncing it, and I'm trying to say a real city. Oh Maybe. my God! You I'm are racist. racist. You are I'm so not racist. racist. Clap, 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 clap. Uh, all right, so. So that that's that pretty much brings us to the end of the the wedding planning update, right? Is there anything uh, yeah. else you wanted to go over? Um, pictures. Are we going to talk about that today? So, so let's yeah. Okay. One of the one of the big things yeah. in the getting married script is that you need a photographer to get your pretty pretty princess photos. Yeah. Or pretty pretty badass warrior. Mother of Dragons photos. Um, 
And I was thinking. Yeah. We well, give some money to a friend and have a hashtag, which we have. Okay. Uh, so and let me, done. So let me just go ahead and get, this is a larger discussion. And this I want everybody to email me on this one. JustinRobertYoung at gmail.com. Put Jury Moore in the subject line. Because I need other people's opinion because I think I might be too harsh on this. I hate wedding photographers. I hate them. Unless we have to hire a wedding photographer. No, no, no. No, exactly. No, this is why we're doing this. I think we kind of agree on it, which is why we're doing things differently. I don't like wedding. I, I, I think wedding photographers, as much as I love people who do photography, uh, many of my friends have been photographers. Uh, I think that it is certainly an art and you will get what you pay for when you pay somebody to take good photos. But I would rather be photographed with both a live boy and a nude girl than take fucking wedding photos. Than take staged wedding photos. Well... They are the worst. Yes. Oh, we're just walking through this wooded path. No, we're oh. not doing that shit. We're at fucking I know, Dragon I know. Con. This is this is what I'm saying. Is that we don't roll like that. We I, I and, and I want other people's and listen, if you want to send me like the worst wedding the staged wedding photos and and, and uh, they drive me up a wall because they are not real people's emotions. So I guess if you're a boring person, all right, now I'm going to get mean. And now I'm getting mean oh, to other no. people. I'm now I'm getting mean to other people. But like, like I, I, I just, I would a, a million times out of a million rather just have a good documentary photographer, like a news photographer, just take great, well-composed pictures of the event than sit around for two hours where everybody's like you're just just photoshop it photoshop everybody's face so they're looking at exactly the right angle and well i would i would like photoshop to photoshop an uzi in the bride's hand i mean act can we get an uzi does that have to be peace bound i want everybody to, to <laughs> please send us uh, uh here uh, um photoshops <laughs> How do, how do you hold it? Do you hold it like this? No, an Uzi's a one-handed gun. Oh, it's a one-handed? Yeah. Okay, like this? Yeah. Bra, bra, bra. Uh, I want everybody, yeah, send send us pictures of uh, of, of uh, brides with Uzis. Uh, <laughs> Stage wedding photos where the brides have Uzis. Oh, that's exciting. But either of us are really into it. Uh, no, we, I would like to, before the yeah. wedding, before things get too cray and my hair is a disaster, to get photos with everybody that's in the party before. Yeah, but can, can it just be us hanging out and maybe like one or two like facing the camera? Like, I just don't want to do like, all right, now turn. Mm. Now only the, only the mothers. Now the mothers get together. Uh, dude, just take awesome pictures. Cause like that's wait, how wait. we want to be. How about, how about we remember this day in which we are really happy being really happy in yes. the moment, as and opposed to being we're fake going happy. to have those. But remember, the wedding pictures mostly aren't for us; they're for, they for other people, for family. For who? Name someone. Your mother. I'll, I'll my father. I'll, t- I'll take the hits. Oh my on the god! <laughs> Didn't Glo- get wedding photos. Gloria, I could hit you. Hit him in the head. <laughs> I just don't like it. I, 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 I it, it, it really grinds my gears. So I think what, and especially now that cameras are so good, you can just give a friend an awesome camera, rent an awesome camera, and and you know that they're gonna look amazing. And, and luckily, we have friends that are awesome photographers. Yeah, and I plan on bugging them. But we're taking photos before. I don't care what you say. I win. Yeah. Go team, future wife. Carl said, uh, "Think I of went. the staged photos as proof that you might actually that you actually met all of Healthy Addict's family and that they did not try to kill you." That's actually a really good point. I already met him. There's already photographic proof of that. Am I? Am I actually the I only have... person? Am I the only person who hates these things? I ruined all of my brothers uh, backstage. Uh, uh, like the the photographer came to take like getting ready for the wedding photos. So we're getting ready for the wedding. So he has like me 
put like my hands over my brother's shoulders, like giving him like a reassuring, like, yeah, bro, this is it. Like, like that kind of pose. And I kept making dumb faces and, and it was rude of me because they spend a lot of money on this wedding photographer. But I'm like, I'm not getting played like that. Well, what I want, I want awesome photos that are real. I want to keep it real. Hashtag keeping it real. Hashtag jury more. Hashtag jury more. <laughs> Hashtag. I gotta have it. Gotta have it. Man, you're so annoying about shit sometimes. This what? Is, this is why long distance worked for us. Uh, which gets us into our uh, larger relationship discussion topic. Uh, periodically, we're going to take a pause from the wedding planning because, to be honest, it's fucking minutia. And even people who are interested in it don't need to hear about it every single week. And quite we- frankly, you were about to lay on the floor over this. <laughs> just about saying. the wedding photographer? Yeah. I just want to know if everybody else is on the other side. That's what I want to know. Right in, Justin Robert Young. I mean, Gmail, put jury war in the subject line. I just think they're dumb. They look so dumb, and I hate them. Anyway, uh, we uh, we periodically like to tell the story of us, how we got together, and uh, and hopefully it will uh, help to stir conversation and and uh, give everybody who's just kind of listening to it, including family, just a little bit more of an idea of, of where we are and uh, where we came from to get here, and really. Our, a large part of our story is about long-distance relationships. Yeah. We were in a long-distance relationship for how long? I really don't know. It's hard to tell. So, two years? Three years? I really don't know. Which is not when we dated. Which was not when we dated. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we really said. Guys, help us figure this out. Okay, well, no, they can't figure it out. The I know. Fuck do they know. I know. I mean, uh, all right. Uh, but let's talk about long distance relationships because for, I mean, I think we're just kind of coming up on on a point where I think we still probably got a year to go at the very least before we are living together for as long as we were living apart. Yeah. Dating. What was the biggest? we were both very, very uh, reticent to say we were dating. Why were you reticent about it? Um, Not just the fact that it was long distance, but because we both had strong internet presences. And when I was working for Big Atheism at the time, you know, that was kind of where my main community was and then you have like the diamond club and everything and i was worried and like some for a while in the back of my head it was like well this is long distance this is never gonna work burr, 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 burr. and in the event that it doesn't work because there's no end point to us being together i don't want even if it was a clean breakup a yeah. public breakup because you know there's gonna be assholes on either side that are going to so wait, say and do the stupid shit. Internet, the internet celebrity element, and I am putting this in the fucking biggest it quotes ever, but like the shared internet audience element of it was scarier to you than us not being in the same town? No, just the element of it being a thing online if we were to split up. Like it being a story in any way or getting like yeah. fucking trolled by assholes. Because I get enough trolling already. Like if we had some type of a breakup, like it was a public a spectacle. Whole other topic. <laughs> this is like we totally could have had this be a whole other topic. No, it's it, we can still have the internet thing as a whole other topic. Yeah. And, and this was what we've talked about this. You know, yeah. you know this. <laughs> I do. No, I do. Um, but that was one of my biggest hangups for a long time was just worrying about the fallout and not having an endpoint. Um, and then once. Things got a little... I'm trying to think of when we actually first started talking about when we were public about our strictly platonic relationship. Uh, relationship. 
actually. Yeah. And even even kind of public to each other. Like there was definitely a moment of of whether or not you know we were like this was like actually dating. You know? Yeah. Uh, that was that was a big topic of conversation. I, I mean, I would say the biggest thing for me was. There's a point in which a long distance relationship is really rad. But they're kind of like, you know, fruit flies, McDonald's, French fries, natural light. Everything what does that, that is mean? very good within a very brief window. A long distance and... relationship is very good until it gets very bad. Though I will say, I think one of the things that kept our long distance thing going for so long was the fact at the time I had a relatively high travel job. Yeah. So between my frequent flyer miles and you were starting to do um, Andrew Main's book tour. Yeah. So you were doing a little bit of traveling then and we could always meet up in places or I could fly down there and like it just made it easier to where we were seeing each other. It was it was event dating is what it was. We it would was. see each other a weekend out of the month, and where we would cram in all the things we could that we could. We go out, we drink, we party, we eat food, we see a movie, ah, and then see you later. Yeah. See you in a month. We saw each other a lot though. We did like way more. I mean, like like it, it sucked because we weren't around each other a lot. But we. My my rule of thumb is always like, all right, if you're seeing somebody Bring. once a month. Bring. <laughs> hello. Hi, Jerry. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just. I'm it. so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot. <laughs> there, there, there was. All right. So, like I said, it was very fun because there, there's a little metropolitan element about it. You know, like yeah. You know, the, the South Florida can very often be a bit of a honey community because it's really rad the weather's very nice you can go to the beach all the time you're in a city where people pay and save up money to come so you can very easily get complacent and for you you came from a small town in ohio uh no to be fair i was living in columbus for like the last seven years let me finish okay you came from a small town in ohio uh, you were living in, in Columbus, but still in a college community. You were still going to school at the time. Uh, all of a sudden, you, intro you introduce a little bit of, uh, you know, travel, thrill, romance. Like, you know, the the chance encounter of like, oh, you're going to be there? Looks like I can be there, too. That's really, really fun. And then that wears off. You were also comparing our relationship for a long time to up in the air. Yeah, which doesn't end well. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen that. I haven't there, seen man. it. No, it's, it doesn't end well for, for that long distance relationship. You want me to spoil it for you? Okay. I don't know if I want to spoil it for everybody. It's a good movie. Spoilers, earmuffs. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, if you don't want to hear the ending to up in the air, then. Hum loudly, for, uh, take out your earbuds, uh, you know, hit mute and I'll wave. for five seconds. Yeah. Uh, turns out that the girl in the long distance relationship is married and is just cheating on her husband. Did it for the bling. Need an, <laughs> I need some new bling. Can pawn this off. Uh, it's been all a facade. So yeah, it doesn't end very well for old George Clooney in that movie, but it is similar in the idea that like oh, okay well i'm here well, well you can be there let's let's make that happen what would you say as advice for people that are going through long distance relationships right now because you survived and you came out on the other you are the the idea we are the idea that you want to get to at the end of a long distance relationship i mean I think it would just be as to have an end point. And we had even talked about this when we were still, I think I was going to say when we were still dating. I guess we were still technically dating. Yeah. Um, but that was the big thing. And, and that really came to light for us when you took the job in California, where mm -hmm. we are now. And it was one thing for me to go from Ohio to Florida 
which is in the same time zone, and it is relatively a long distance. Yeah. Um, to Ohio to California, because now you're crossing time zones. Now you're crossing much more distance, and it became much more um, unrealistic, I think, for us to date long distance. Though you you did fly a lot, we probably could have. You still fly a lot. We probably could have kept it up for a while, but, like, once you moved out there... And it's also... It's just hard... It's hard to happen in year three. Uh, I know. I saw it. That's very good. Uh, Mac in the chat room just put a a new Z in Ashley's hand as it points to a very defeated... Saving uh, that photo. Uh, If we didn't have the gumption to have you move out when you did, me moving to California would have been just a lot of pressure on a relationship that was already stretched very thin. Yeah, toward the end of it, we were definitely... um... I think we were communicating very well, but it was just one of those things where it's like, at some point, and it might not have been anybody's... It certainly wouldn't have been anybody's fault, you know? It's just... Either of us wanted to make the move to be where the other one was. And if I had to, if I had to move out to California and we kind of we we in a way were able to just find a happy medium because either and, of us I wasn't moving to Ohio you weren't moving to Florida and thank God you moved someplace that was nice yes unlike South Florida oh, dude, America's hell it's not America's hell. Second worst to Mississippi. <laughs> you want to go all 50 states? You want to you light everybody up? <laughs> we have listeners in Mississippi. <laughs> you want to shoot it on them? My mom's in South Florida. Although she might agree with you about America's self. Uh, <laughs> so, so what would you say? I mean, like, like what, what would be your, your advice? Okay. Somebody's out there listening to this right now and they're saying, oh man, I wish, uh, I hope in... A year, two years, I'm doing a podcast with my long distance boyfriend and we're getting married. Uh, what would you tell them? And, and by proxy, what would you have told yourself in the middle of everything? I mean, other than have an end point, like have an end point to where when you will be so together. You would say, so, like mean, that's that's the big so this thing. This is very constructive. Is You're saying it ain't about you processing it better. This situation sucks, and it will only get better when it ends. And to end it, that means that you guys need to be either in the same place or not together. Basically, yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't think that. Was that we... always where you were at, though? Because we went a long time not being in the same place. Yeah, I think. I think a lot of it was just like so much uncertainty. In uncertainty that you know we would actually be able to move in together and it was our cross-country sexcapade yeah as we had dubbed it mm-hmm. um have we said that publicly i don't think we have it was our cross-country Very sexcapade that you, uh, hi I dad feel like, i feel like we both not we both left that up but i'm glad oh. everything's gonna come out it Hey guys, we're done with this show. All of our little pet phrases and All right. secrets. We are emptying the closets of secrets. It's going to be really embarrassing. So again, dad, glow, earmuffs. We had a cross-country sexcapade. Yeah. That's what we called it. We're adults. Uh, we're adults. Grown folks in our mid-20s. Happens. Um, yes. Anyway. Yeah. For a long time, I was thinking, it's like, oh, this is, you know, I hope that there's an end point to this, but so I don't know that there is. At least cool. we're having fun. Yeah, there's we're a enjoying cool life. And, fun. <laughs> and then there was that, that period where it was hard and it became a burden, but we didn't want to let it go because we cared for each other. And then, you know, I think in retrospect, we, we certainly both say that it it came close yeah. to, to the breaking point by the end of it but there was that acceleration of of me coming out to california and that being a situation and that being an option to to end it well and and i was very fortunate in that regard too that i could quit my job and then move out and search you know so that kind of worked out 
but have an end point. That's really all there is to. That was a long way of saying that. Or just have fun eventually and give it up. Event and let it crumble eventually and die in a fire. Fun. Yeah. See, I would say that's it's one and two, right? And I think, I, but really, I, you you actually nailed it. It's at some point somebody has to get real, you know. And it has to get to a, where are we going? Because the thing, when you're not constantly in contact, like if our relationship was falling apart right now, let's say theoretically, like at least we would be around each other. There would be conflict points that might bring stuff to a head, especially because we communicate a lot. Yeah. But if you're in a long distance relationship and on top of that, you're not a great communicator, then things can just fester yeah. for a while. And people can have wildly divergent ideas on where the relationship is. And then when it comes to an end, it can be really, really painful. Yeah. So I think I mean, communication is a huge part about it. And I think we've been really good about that you also all can't throughout. Be jealous. Yeah. Like, you, you have to keep your jealousy rigorously in check. Yeah. Because like And I don't think either one of us are really jealous people. No, not really. And and whenever we've had kind of jealous spurts, I, I think we've been good about talking to each other about it. You know? Yeah. And that's and that's really all you can ask for. You know, it's not like the jealousy doesn't exist or you know, we're gonna pretend that it doesn't exist. It's just you know, you, you wanna talk about it enough. Mm-hmm. Uh because otherwise listen, it, it it can get bad. It get gets nasty. really bad. Because you want to know what a long distance relationship is really like. So much more of it is your understanding of the relationship. So it's like you're filling in all these blanks because you just don't talk to the person all that much. You know, or even if you talk to them a lot, like there's just a lot of stuff that you don't you don't see how they are. You don't see the look on their face. You know, you don't see how they acted around their friend or something like that. And like, I think a lot of that can really, you know, work on you after a while. If you're not good, if you're not rigorous in terms of communicating, that's a huge So part. communicate, don't get jealous over stupid shit and have an end point. Like. Or watch it all light on fire and crumble. You know, whatever floats your boat or sinks it. Yeah. Depends what you're uh, what you're aiming to do. I guess, but also, I mean, but that, I guess that's the problem, though, is that your worst case scenario in a long distance relationship is it going on past the point that you're happy. Yeah. Because it will happen earlier, and it will be more detrimental in the long run than a relationship that you are in the same physical space with somebody with. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that is the, uh, the the show for tonight. Do uh, we have email? Oh shit, we do have email. See, you're, gosh, you you're so bad at this. Justin Robert Young at Gmail dot com, but jury more in the subject line. That is J U R Y M O R E. Who emailed us? Well, we got a couple. The first one is G Lo Young. Gloria Young. Gloria Young. I didn't want you to read my email. Um. Uh, hi guys, just wanted to let you both know that I have been listening. However, I am not listening in order. I have listened to three or four episodes and I will continue to do so until I catch up. I have listened to epilogue, Glory, Tell Me About the Wedding, and The Spell Worked. Love it so far. You guys are extremely amusing as always. Love you both. Mom, A-K-I, A-K-A, M-I-L. Sent from my iPad. So there we go. My mom is updating everybody here who is listening how many episodes she's listened to yep. and what episodes they are and the fact that she's listening to them uh, not in order, which I don't know how or why she's doing that. Uh, but maybe, I don't know. Mom, if it's a problem with your iPhone, just give me a call. Um, and the and the other uh, one is from Craig Deniston, uh, who says, My cousin has an Etsy shop where she cus- makes custom jewelry, including a special pieces for brides. She's located in Austin, provides free shipping, and that's Etsy.com. 
slash shop slash M E R R I T T G A D E Meritgada Gade. Did you look at it? I did. It's actually really cute. And if I I would love to to do something if I was having a white wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love this stuff. It's great, which is why I wanted to plug it. So uh, seems pretty cool. So if you are getting married and not going to be the mother of dragons, uh, yeah. check it out. <laughs> it's does great, though. Do, Thanks for sending that in. I feel like you should get a grill. I don't know. I could. We could find out. Well, I'll, I'll send a Etsy message and find out if we can get that grill. Yeah, you should get blood and fire. Oh, my God. That'd be great. Yeah. Mm. And, and I want yours to... You got to get a grill, too. So uh-huh. we can kind of match, yeah. but we need to be in theme. So yours can say fracking toaster. <laughs> right? I think it's good. Oh, it's very, my very goodness. Good. Uh, all right. Again, that is Justin Robert Young at gmail.com. But you're more on the subject line, J-U-R-Y-M-O-R-E. If you would like to watch us live, we're on DiamondClub.tv. We usually record on Mondays. And you can take a look at our new studio. We're recording this on the new studio. It looks a little, or sorry, sounds a little different if you're only listening to the podcast. We're still trying to work out the mics a little bit, but thank you to everybody for bearing with us. Another huge shout out to everybody from Chat Realm last night who helped me put together uh, our our stream. We had some major tech issues. Thanks to uh, Mech, DJ12, Waffleophagus, uh, specifically in, in the chat room, Lazy Dog uh, as well. Ash, anything else you want to add? No, that uh, that should do it, I think. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Healthy Addict or on the YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat all is Healthy Addict and hopefully soon on YouTube as Spice Vegan. So that'll be fun. I'm Justin Robert Young. Till next time, stay married, y'all. Or not, if you don't want to, you know. Uh, Carl had an email. Carl needs to send in his uh, his question that he wrote in uh, in the in in the chat room. Send that in via email. Oh, he sent it in the chat room. Uh, he wrote something. I think it was Carl in the chat room. Oh. But he wrote a can of worms question. Oh, the big atheism one. Nope. And Wait. if you don't know it, then Carl, don't write it and just put it in an email. And we will leave that in the doc for next week. Because I, w- I, w- I, w- I, want, I want a fresh reaction. It's a very relatable, like, ooh. Is it one we've talked about? We've, we've discussed it. Yeah. Oh, is this the one I think it is? I don't know. Is it the one that our marriage hinged on? No. Okay. No. It is, it is a wedding question, a preparation for the wedding question. <laughs> um, oh, that'll be great. All right. Well, guys, uh, uh, we got some stuff to do. I got to get to the airport, man. I'm flying East Coast tonight. I got to go climb some rocks. I'm late for my rock climbing date. All right. Uh, well, guys, we will see you later. Bye-bye. Love you. Mwah.